Hey guys, Berinfus here, and this is GTA San Andreas. You might think that you know everything about the game. Well, the game is massive and you can't possibly know it all. There are many hidden secrets that aren't that visible even after hundreds of hours of playtime. That's why I'm here. I'll show you 10 facts you didn't know about GTA San Andreas. Am I wrong? Do you know everything on the list? Fine, dislike the video, but if I teach you something new, make sure you leave a like. So, let's begin! Number 10 There's a thing called a sliding glitch. If you master it, passing about 20% of the missions would be faster and easier. It's basically a glitch that makes sprinting while aiming weapons possible. How is that useful, you might ask? Well, sprinting while shooting from a minigun is badass enough. But it also allows you to manipulate the game in such a way that you can even skip some missions. Like this one for example. You can sprint in interiors you normally can't. It's not easy to pull off and you need a lot of practice. All you need to do is limit your frame rate. While in-game crouch, walk, sprint and aim. And there you go, you can slide. I'll make a more in-depth video on this feature in the future. Number 9. You can have a negative number of money. If you bet all your money in the casino and lose, your money will become red. After a while, you will receive a phone call from a gangster and he will inform you that you owe him money. Hey, Mr. Johnson, just a friendly reminder that you owe me money. Don't be a stranger. He'll call you again later, saying that some associates are arriving to discuss the money issue. Mr. Johnson, I hear you're in the neighborhood. Some of my associates will be paying you a visit to talk about your debt. Once they come, they'll try to kill you. Until you get enough money to pay off your debt, you constantly be hunted by the Mafia. Number 8 Even though the impound garages used to have a role in the story of the game and had an actual use in the beta, they can still be used for storing vehicles. Just open the garage with a police car, get the vehicle in it, and park it at the very end of the garage. This maximizes storage space and allows you to keep big planes and helicopters secure without worrying about them disappearing. Number 7 There's a whole nother hidden universe in the game. It's high up in the sky above the sky limit. Once you're there, the normal world disappears. The easiest way of getting to the universe is through the Ganton Gym. After you're inside it, kill all the NPCs, type the cheat for a jetpack and fly through the ceiling. This allows you to reach many interiors, but the one we want is a hidden warehouse, unused in the actual game. Let's find it. There we go. Enter the yellow marker and you will be inside the warehouse. From here you can reach all interiors in the game. There are more than 150 interiors, some of which are fully textured but never used in the actual game. Number 6 There's a mystery photographer in the game. In the countryside you can find a seemingly normal person taking pictures of the lovely view of Los Santos. Once finished, the photographer simply puts his camera away, casually walks towards the ocean and drowns. Number 5 Between the beta days and the release in 2004, many features and missions were removed from the game. I'll go over a few of them because this game is massive and it will take me an hour to list and showcase them all. Some of the missions removed from the game were Impounded. Doberman, tanked up, roadside assistance, the truth is out there. Fish in a barrel was a real mission instead of just a cutscene. In fact, the audio, text, icons, models and mission structure code is still in the game and you can play the missions via mods. Gentlemen. Photo opportunity was once an actually interesting mission where you didn't have to just stay on the roof and take pictures. Instead Caesar and CJ used a helicopter and that's why in the final version they scream to each other. 
They being clever about this, it ain't no exchange and nothing incriminate. In St. Mark's Bistro, you could roam around in Liberty City and you have to chase down Marco Forelli on a bike. You could store weapons in trunks, of course. There were rampages, pizza boy and top fun missions. You got invited for hot coffee and you played a mini game while you and him drinking coffee. Some characters were removed from the game, others were changed. Even Big Bear used to be a main character. Man, Grove Street families used to be tight, man. The little Brian got caught up, you ran off. I don't mean to diss you, man, but you did. I know, but I'm back now. True, homie. That's real spit. According to two maps shown in the game itself, the map of San Andreas used to look differently. A skateboard was planned to be in the game, which served both as a vehicle and as a weapon. The list just goes on and on and on. And as I said, an hour might not even be enough to go over all the features. Number 4. Normally you're only able to take over territory in Los Santos. But by using glitches you can cover the map with territories to take over, even in Las Venturas. All you gotta do is fly far enough into the ocean for about 30 minutes and more territories will start appearing. Also in the beta version of the game street names had the color of the gang controlling it. This feature was removed from the game, but can be enabled again by using another glitch combining territories together. It involves a police vehicle and some careful planning. For a very in-depth tutorial, click right over here. After you do it enough, the street names will be colored differently. Number 3 these three facts shouldn't really be on this list, but apparently a huge chunk of the player base doesn't even know about them. So here they are. You can put bombs in cars just like in GTA 3. There's no indication on the map where the shop is located though. Just get in the garage, park, get out, activate the bomb and BAM! EXPLOSION! There also used to be a second functional pay and spray in Las Venturas on the PS2 version. However, there was no collision at the entrance and you would often fall into the world. Instead of adding a collision box on the ground in the future releases like, let's say the PC version, Rockstar Games decided to barricade the entrance. How do I know that there is still no collision box? Because you can still get stuck in the ground outside of the garage. Cabron, I know you didn't just ignore me. And the next one is, you can buy tickets at the airport to teleport instantly to the other cities. Yeah, I know, it's very obvious, but again, many people don't know about it and that's why it's here. Number 2. At the beginning of the game, you're only able to roam around in Los Santos and part of the countryside. If you try to visit other parts of the map, you'll get an instant 4 star wanted level. You can use cheats to lock the wanted level at zero, but if you're not a dirty smelly cheater, you can use exploits instead. Much better! There are many missions in the game which lock the wanted level at zero, and while you are on the mission, you can just visit the other cities without police attention. This allows you to get all the collectibles and get lots of cash early on. The list of missions is huge, so I made a separate in-depth video showcasing them all. Check it out over here. And finally, number 1. San Fierro suffered a giant earthquake a few years ago as shown by the falling freeway next to the Garver Bridge. Another evidence is the fault line in the San Fierro Bay. There are also other destroyed buildings in the city as seen here. All of these easter eggs are references to the real earthquake that happened in San Francisco in 1989. And those were the 10 most unknown secrets in GTA San Andreas. Again, if you knew them all, leave a dislike. I won't be mad. But if I teach you something new, then the like button is right there too. Do you know more secrets? Then share them in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.